like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So this is a return of a very old segment called uh, That Aged Badly. Why is it called That Aged Badly? Because That Aged Badly. Now, I sometimes feel somewhat guilty about constantly taking the piss out of uh, uh, Chris Chibnall or Jody Whittaker, right? I do feel somewhat bad about it because they're human beings. And, 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 you know, I really don't think they sat down and thought, how can we make it as bad as humanly possible, right? How can we totally screw up and destroy everything? I don't think they did that, right? I really don't think that. I think they had the best of intentions. I just think they screwed up. I think what happened was they believed in the hysteria of the day, which was uh, during, when Trump was president and Brexit just happened, and they believed that uh, Twitter reflected reality when it didn't, right? They made it for the Twitterati, uh, uh, and there's only, what, 2 3% of people that live on Twitter? And, 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 and well, about half of those uh, uh, were, were crazy Twitterati. They believed it, right? They completely believed it. And uh, uh, they made it accordingly. And then it worked out very, very badly. So, yeah, that's my problem. right? That, I mean, that's why I think we should really continue to take the piss. Why? Because everybody screws up from time to time. Everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes. You make, we all do, right? It's part of being human. When you make a mistake... Grow a pair of balls and say, I made a mistake and I am sorry. That's really it, right? That's really it. And if you can't do that, you're going to get the piss taken out of you. It's, it's that, that's your choice, right? If you're too much of a damn pussy to come up and say, I screwed up and I'm sorry, right? And be genuine about it, then you deserve to get the piss taken out of you. And taken out of you relentlessly until you do at some point go, yeah, yeah, I think just owning up is better than being derided, right? Uh, or not, right? If you can't own up, then I think it's right that you be derided, and derided constantly. Uh, uh, and the trouble is, there's just so much ammunition. <laughs> there's so much ammunition. So uh, th th we're going to look at a uh, publicity piece from uh, uh, back back it, uh, when things were good for uh, Chibnall and Whitaker. When was that? Before that, any of her, her episodes aired. And, you know, that's another thing. Okay, you make season 11. Uh, and you think you're doing a great job, right? Everybody in the BBC is around you going, oh, you're so stunning. You're so brave. You're doing such a great freaking job. And you believe your own press, right? You believe, you know, at the BBC, they really have Piers Winkers and Doctor Who is in the best shape editorially ever, right? And then the ratings are in the toilet, right? I, 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 that, that's just what that's just what happened. So then you get, then they clearly seem to have uh, course corrected in the second year. And I mean, unless it was their original plan to have no uh, no monsters, uh, recognizable monsters in the first year, and Philip full of recognizable monsters in the second year, right? But it was still shit. And the bottom line is the writing was still sub-professional. And the, you know, the casting of Whitaker, uh, you know, a bit of an own goal, one could say. Quite, quite, quite reasonably. Uh, um, so, but this is from the, the those Halicon days where everything looked like it was going to be great. It looked like it was going to be great for them. Uh, this is a uh, uh, the Comic-Con presentation in, in uh, L.A. And it's just, it's fat. Looking back at now, at uh, in hindsight, it's absolutely fascinating. It's kind of like I'm re-watching Westworld. And I'm up to uh, well, episode three or four of the first season. It's so much better, right, this time around. Because at Westworld, the way they made it is there's all these narrative tricks to, to throw off the viewer to make so you're not really sure what's going on. Uh, there's multiple timelines going on and you don't know who's a robot, who isn't. That kind of stuff going on all the way through. When you, This is my third time watching it. I, just, I finished watching full season, which I thought was fantastic. But now watching it again, knowing what's going on, right? Uh, um, it's uh, And getting to the actual heart of the story. I think it's even better, right? I think it's even better. It's really fascinating. It's about the development of sentience, right? Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, anyway I digress. See, that's how much I don't want to be talking about Chris Chibnall's Doctor Who. I will always go off in sun. <laughs> else right uh but yeah looking at this in hindsight is absolutely fascinating it's uh fascinating somewhat horrifying i i still feel somewhat bad for them but you know that's because i i have a conscience i'm a human being what do you want me to tell you i don't tell you but chris mate chris i i here's what i really think you should just come out 
and, and do a book or oh, have somebody else write it because you can't write. I mean, just understand that you can't write. Uh, uh, write a book uh, uh, again. Get it ghost written where you, you tell your side of the story. Say this is how this is what we did. Right. It it went tits up. It went terribly. Right. We I. I but that way, at least you won't be derided for all time. Right? <laughs> at, least, uh, you know, at least that way, you know, you, you might... Uh, uh, be, be, I think, honestly, people are um, well disposed. So I have a real theory that um, if uh, Bojo... First, he wasn't stupid enough to have all those damn parties, right? Duh. Right? <laughs> well, nobody else on lockdown. But in his defense, every other uh, hypocrite politician was doing exactly the same thing. But then, but then after he screwed up, grow a pair of fucking balls and say sorry. How hard is that? You spineless morons, right? If he just did that, I think that little glimmer of humanity would have probably, uh, uh, you know, saved it. Joe Biden, okay, another political uh, uh, analogy. He could be the most popular president of all time right now, right? Uh, uh, or yeah, if he just uh, uh, pardon everybody, uh, all the non-violent offences from January 6th and say we're moving forward uh, as a nation, as one nation, uh, uh, great, you know, he'll probably, he would win Haddock's people just want quiet. People want normalcy. People want decency, right? But no, he's not doing that because it's based uh, uh, what what wants civil war, right? So, but people are crazy. People are crazy. People are stupid. Uh, 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 listen, if you don't fancy being crazy and stupid and having ego all over your face, here's what you need to do: get in contact with me for a nominal fee. I will advise you on how not to be a, an imbecile prick, right? I will I will advise you on that. It's surprisingly much easier than you think it is. And all, all you gotta do again. Grow a pair of balls and say sorry. So until that happens, the piss will be uh, will be liberally taken. Right? The piss will be liberally taken. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very, very good. Thank you very much for doing all those things. I will not take the piss out of you for doing that. Uh, even if you're one of the people that, who hate watchers. I get my hate watchers and, oh, I love you. I love you, hate watchers. You really, okay, you should subscribe. You should subscribe to my Substack because you don't want to miss anything. My Substack is my email newsletter. And I put other things in there as well. I put, like, old Doctor Who magazine articles in. Actually, I like the ads. <laughs> I put ads in from like 1978. Yeah. Uh, um, and then I have a paid one, which I was going to send stuff out on yesterday and I didn't. But maybe today. Today might be the day. I think it might be. I, I don't have two full, uh, uh, full of plate today. So today might indeed be the day. Uh, 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 you want to sign up to the paid one? Because there's no ELA. When you give somebody money, you really own them. Oh, yes. Yes, you do. And you want to own me. You want to spank me. I know. I know. So, you know, you can do that. I'll offer that for you for the cheap, cheap price of <laughs> five bucks a month. You, you can take me to the cleaners. Uh, 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 not well, not really. But OK, whatever. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very, very good. Now, let me hand over to me from last night. Fan girls. Yeah. Oh, two hours. Fan girls. So this is from back in the age when there was this fantasy that there was lots of girls that liked science fiction. And they wanted it to be more girly, right? That did, that they didn't exist, right? We they got what they wanted, and all the uh, uh, the fan base dropped out of all these things, including Doctor Who, as as you can see by the ratings. Fan girls, because these they, they, it just didn't exist. I'm sorry, Doctor Who fans who were girls didn't need to be treated like girls. I mean, they had good things, like Ashley Eckhart did. Uh, um, had a fashion website for uh, that for female brands that I thought was very very cool. I liked that a lot. Uh, uh, um, but other than that, I just thought it's not real. Jody, I am so excited for you. It's about f***ing time we had a woman who. Yeah, I, I wonder. I wonder what's her favorite Tom Baker story? Do you think? Really, and, and, like, and how do you reconcile the like? Do you like Modern Undead, or do you have a problem with the the unit dating? Uh, 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 my guess is uh, 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 she has no clue. Speaking of people with no clue, it's uh, uh, clearly very straight boy here. Can't wait to watch the episode. Uh, I'm so straight. Oh, look at me! I am super straight. You you are super duper straight. You are absolutely. I haven't sucked a dick today. I, I'm sure you have it. Maybe I have a little. Okay, whatever, whatever. And then probably watch it a thousand more times. Oh, God. I, di I didn't know his voice was like that. 
Okay, I, I take that back. I'm in trouble. I, okay, I genuinely didn't know he had a he had a. I'm sorry. That's I got I got to cut that out. I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay, I definitely definitely didn't know that was really his voice. Uh, how am I supposed to know? Oh come on! I was exaggerating to be the most ridiculous thing possible, and it turned out to be that. Uh, I'm sure you're a great guy. I'm sure you are. I am. So I and, and, and it's totally super cool if you're gay as well. I, I, I'm, I have no problem with that. Uh, uh, oh, this is actually an Eckhart. So I like her, but boy, are you on the wrong side of history, darling? Cannot wait for this season of Doctor Who. Yeah, how, how'd that range work out for you, darling? How'd it work out? Still got a few of that stock left, have you? I'm guessing you do. I'm guessing you do. Welcome, Jody. Really excited to meet you. Yeah, you won't be soon, baby. J O D I E, J O D I E, go Jody! We absolutely. Uh, uh, in the 80s, when I was a Doctor Who fan, that didn't do much to uh, uh, make me attracted to the ladies. I, th I, may I dare say I may have had a better chance than some of the people we have seen today. Okay, let's go with this. Let's look at this, this hostage situation. Absolutely adore you, and we hope that you have as much fun playing the Doctor as we have as watching you. That's true. Oh, God, I hope we have more fun than that. Oh, God. I hope we have a lot more fun. I mean, I don't want to curse you, mate. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's me, Danny Roth, here on the Sci-Fi Wireless stage for the very last uh, uh, day of New York Comic Con 2018. I'm here with, uh, oh, I don't know, Jody Whittaker, Christian. Oh, boy, look at them. It's like they had no idea what was going to happen. They had no idea. What was coming? They thought, okay, I mean, I, listen, it, again, I think they went into it with the best of intentions. I really do, right? I really do think they went into it. I think they, they thought they did a good job, right? Uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, everyone was telling them they were fantastic. I guess it's like when you're a porn star, right? When you hear people give porn star stories, they're always like, yeah, I was on set and everybody was telling me I was doing a great job. I mean, like, yes, I guess you were, but uh, uh, um, really? I mean, like, I'll tell you you're doing a super great job, right? Uh, 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 um, like, an unbelievably great job. That's all it takes. Uh, uh, but they all, they, 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 look, they were surrounded by people saying, this is going to be awesome. Uh oh, my daughter's calling. Let's have a look. Uh, let's see what she's going to say. Hello, I'm on a live stream. What do you want? Hello, here we your speakerphone. One second. Speak up, say hello. She's on the ocean waves. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, that's it. So long. Hello, where are you? Are you at sea? Yeah, we just left Santorini. Okay, well, I don't know where Santorini is. So is it time for dinner? No, I'm going to cook now and then dinner. Uh, what, what's on the menu tonight? Uh, we'll start tuna, the salmon, the ribs, and okay. food, basically. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I hope there's someone that sells weed, because otherwise that food's going to go to waste. Okay, darling, I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Bye, do it. Bye. There you go. My daughter on there. My daughter is Mishkia, terrifyingly enough. Mishkia is the person who keeps an eye on, on how kosher and everything who keeps kosher. Uh, uh, um, it's very strange. Okay, okay, fine. We're back. We're back. Oh, the innocence of youth. I'm no Matt Strevens uh, to talk about Doctor Who. It's a little show. Uh, we're going to show you a quick, a quick trailer, and then we will talk about the interview. So let's watch the trailer real quick. Okay, I'll oh, fair effect shot. Sure. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Good effect shot, okay, I'm excited. I'm the doctor. When people need help, I never refuse. What do we do? What? I mean, shit, she's shit in this. I, like, honestly, she's shit in this. This is a trailer. And they all thought it was good. How? Why are you asking her? Because she's in charge, bro. Says who? Se Says who? Yeah, she's in charge. Let's get a shift on. Legend is Exodus. Searching for you, boy. Searching through the mud to find the... 
I mean, like, you can tell it's kind of shit already. It's bizarre. Because my brain didn't. I'm like, how do I not work out this as shit at this point? I'm just a traveler. I was born for this, born for this. I mean, like, the way she holds herself so through it is just so stupid. Hmm? She's like, she I, I doesn't. It's not a one, darling. Oh, no, we're not going back to the beginning. The crazy or, 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 or very masculine man. Uh, oh, oh, God, she's so shit. Sometimes I see things need fixing. I do what I can. I made it through the... Wait, wait, wait. Did they have a... What the... Somebody had the idea of having a run? Sometimes I see things need fixing. I do what I can. I made it through the... That was a really bad idea. I mean, including hiring her as well. This is, I mean, like, I don't know, and it's like, oh, the music, it's all so cringe. Yeah, oh my God, she's so useful. It's about time. Oh God, really? And you, I mean, like, oh God, you, and you fucked it up. So epically, it's about time. I'm, I'm like, oh my god, you had it all on a platter, right? I, I just completely fucked it up. Yeah, it wasn't so good by uh, uh, let me see, 14, 20 for by October 28, things were looking a bit ropey, weren't they? Oh, ah. Uh, uh. Okay, I want to go back in time and say, no, it's shit. Trust me. It's not because she's a woman. It's because it's shit, shit. I mean, it's partly because she's a woman. Don't get me wrong. It's not not because she's a woman. But it's mainly because she's shit. Uh, by the way, the, the video they played at the start, uh, there's a longer version of it. Uh, it was made by the Sci-Fi Fangirls. If you go to their uh, Instagram and their Twitter page. Fangirls, because they're such fans. And they got so many girls, they couldn't find a girl. You can check it out. It's really great. Uh, there's even more of that. Uh, hi. hi. So y'all just finished hi. a panel uh, where people saw the episode for the. You, you like to, yeah. I, like just how many people were there? What was the reaction like? I, I couldn't count from yeah. the seats. <laughs> oh, okay. There was a lot of people, and it was. Uh, I couldn't count because I'm not that clever. Uh, uh, I had to take my, I had to take my shoes off, and then I ran out of tingles and toes. Uh, I was trying to take Chris's toe, uh, shoes off, but he thought it was sick harassment. So I said no. Oh, so I couldn't count. Uh, 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 but listen, you got you got a, a warm welcome. Everybody wanted you to be good, right? An what sort of doctor are you? Yeah, rubbish. <laughs> I didn't have my Sonic. Um, it was an incredibly warm and emotional response, and we are we are spent. <laughs> We've done nothing but. Hug and cry for the last hour. Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of, it sounds like an episode of Discovery. Um, yeah. Jeez. I don't know why she thought that was good. I mean, oh, God. I mean, it's like really building up false expectations, isn't it? Mr. PC Game Forever is it? How are you doing, Mr. PC Game Forever? Uh, 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 it's just... Oh, also, oh, my God, look at Chibnall's face. Oh, 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 I'm a, he is. He is the bloke, he is the, the neighbor from ever decreasing circles. Oh my God. How did I go back? I don't want to go back. No. Uh, where are we go. Oh. How many people were there? What was the reaction? Remember, hug and cry for the last hour. So <laughs> thank you everyone for being such a sport. But don't worry, for those who haven't seen it, there'll be no spoiler. Yes, well, we're gonna, all right, we're gonna say well, one, one, one thing, it's very small. Be one There spoiler. we go. <laughs> now you're not a liar. That's very, yeah, 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 yeah. no lies on this stage. Um, you made the Sonic. I've never- No, 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 no. She didn't make it, what? Uh, okay, I want to see the reaction. Uh, uh, I really. Never said this is kind of new. I don't have any recollection of ever witnessing the doctor make a sonic screwdriver before. Maybe not on screen, but I just assumed 
it, he in previous incarnations must have done. So, um, so yeah. Sometimes and the I, TARDIS makes it. It just pops well, out. Yeah, but in the classic show, it's just yeah. kind of there. So, um, and also, I thought it was great. I, I, I like what? I understand. Like really? Uh, I, I, what? <laughs> I, it was a stupid question, and he's like saying, "Well, that's a stupid question." And just like, oh, it sounds like a clever question, that. Oh, like you thought. Opportunity to show this doctor doesn't matter. You know, it, it, she can do anything. She, yeah. she's, she uh, apart from retain ratings. Lives on her wits. She improvises. She can, there's no problem. Yeah, she can't plan. She can't plan and she can't think. Uh, 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 yeah, you wrote her as a moron. I, and like, you knew for the rest of the season and the uh, next year you were going to write her as a moron too difficult so is that a thing we should be expecting a doctor who well, well wait a minute what about the time when you had to say something nice to graham and that was that too difficult makes things because there are people who are always kind of looking for like what's going to be that thing that keys into the doctor is i think this what's that question Go, i want to hear that question again that's so weird on her wits she improvises she can there's no problem too difficult so is that a thing we should be expecting a doctor who makes things? Because there are people who are always kind of looking for like what's going to be that thing that keys into the doctor is. I think a doctor who makes things. He's never seen the fucking show. What the hell? Are you going to be a doctor that makes things? That's every doctor, you stupid cunt. What? That's a doctory thing to do to make a lash up. What? I mean, wait, 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 you don't remember the uh, the light thing is from Seeds of Doom in black and white, right? Doctor Who makes lash-ups. Uh, 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 Remembrance of the Daleks, he makes a lash-up thing to, the, uh, the uh, like, scramble the Daleks. He made try to sit on, on Spyrodon, right? Doctor makes lash-ups. That's what he does. Apart from this one, who, de who ne this was the never did that. This... There's, a nose that knows there's, things. There'll be moments for things like that. Again, I think... I think uh, no, I never thought of that. That's a very traditionally Doctor Who thing to do. Um, no, no, we don't do that. We're not doing traditional Doctor Who. We're doing what we like to call uh, uh, shit Doctor Who that no one's going to watch ever. I think the, just the sense of creativity and enthusiasm it requires to make a Sonic... I have gallons of. <laughs> so it was. It, it takes more than enthusiasm, you duff bin. Oh my god! I mean, yeah, honestly, it takes a little bit of professionalism, which you yeah, don't have. It's great to put that to good use. I've also discovered I'm very good at welding. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> oh, she's such a Karen. Oh, oh, because I would never weld in real life. Oh, because I'm not like this character at all. Because she's not really a character, it's more of a Tilly Tubby. That's I'm paying it. But a Tilly Tubby, oh, if you thought people like that, they've never seen a Tilly Tubby Doctor before. Uh, 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 and it's about as real as Doctor Who. So, yes, I'm going to be the Tilly Tubby Doctor. Oh! Ah! Uh... <sighs> I have been thinking about this uh, for, I don't know, since I was on an uh, airstrip in Belize and saw that you were going to be the doctor and screamed up and down the tarmac as all the Belizeans looked at me like, what is wrong with this strange white man? Uh yes, as they should do, right? Uh, in your skin color has nothing to do with it. You're just strange and weird. Um, but uh, the show is changing in a very fundamental way but not just because this yeah it's going to become a shit woman in the role but um because of all the fact that it's going to be new no there's no the the traditional trappings of the monsters now uh, and uh, of the of the the companions that we've seen in the past and it made me think that this has not been done since 1970 when john pert we took the show to color and the only thing that we had was unit and really they were brand new and that season we had uh the odd okay who, this is a researcher wrote, he knows none of this. What, what, what bullshit is he talking? What? Uh, Doctor regenerates itself often. What? Oh, yeah, it's very rare they jettison their entire past before, because that will be a very stupid thing to do. And why do a very stupid thing, other than you're very stupid? 
Uh, 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 speaking of very stupid, let's hear what else he has to say. Tons. Right out of the gate, who became classic monsters. We had Silurians, same thing. We had astronauts as these sort of scary creatures that then became a, a big part of River's story, and then uh, Inferno. What the fuck? No, they were nothing to do with each other. Oh, fuck off. You put together the, the uh, well, ambassadors of death and, and the, uh, uh, the, what was it, the Vashon Narada. Weird. Because they both wear spacesuits. What? Uh, the Doctor loses a whole Earth, uh, which sort of, I think, invented the modern incarnation of the show. Um, so no pressure, but I kind of feel like this is your chance to do the same thing. Uh, it's a really interesting analogy. I wouldn't disagree. I think it's... And I wonder what the reaction... It's a fan thing. So use nobody use that hashtag ever. It was such a radical rethink if you go in 1970 of going, A, they went to colour, they had a new doctor, they didn't even show the regeneration. They, yeah. they, and, and also if we'd said, if we'd said this year we're going to take it to Earth, there's going to be some military characters, there's, we're not going to be in space, we're not going to go back in the past. It's Doctor Who is born out of radical change and it every, happens every three or four years. Some change is more radical than others, but it's an experimental, risk-taking, bold show. But also... Yeah, but you need talent to be able to do it, Chris. And I, I look, I believe that you went into it with the best of intentions. But the trouble is, mate, and this is embarrassing, I know, but you're an idiot. <laughs> like, I, look, it's embarrassing. I get that's embarrassing, right? But you're, you're just not very, you're not clever enough to do this. And it's like, this is, I imagine this is an awful way to find out that you're an idiot, right? Uh, uh, um, I, but really, what a way to find that out. Most people can go their lives and hide it, right? And never have me found out that they are. And I feel bad for you. I look, honestly, I do. Can you imagine being found out that you're an idiot? Like it's like being found out like Louis C.K. likes whacking off in front of you. Like I don't really get that. That doesn't really turn me on at all. But that's his thing, and now everybody knows that's his thing, and that must be quite embarrassing. Same with this. Same with this. What that did, which is what we're trying to do, is it connected with the world in 1970. It talked to concerns that were going on there. Well, you see, that, that, that's the fundamental problem, right? You did it. You connected to a fantasy world created by insane people on Twitter, right? I, and, you know, I hate to tell you this. Everything you believed is wrong, right? Have you noticed everything is the opposite? of the way you thought it would be, right? That's because everything you thought is wrong, <laughs> okay? You, again, you notice how everything is opposite. Yeah, that happens when everything you think is wrong, okay? Just wanted to be completely clear. And that's what we're trying to do this year. We're just trying to make it, we're trying to, you, you want to make the thread back to 1963 in the first episode, and you want to go, what does that show feel like in 2018? It's still the same show. It's a continuation, but it's also open enough that if you've never seen it before, you can own it this year. You know, it's for you. It's for everyone. But it's not. That's the thing. And here, the, I mean, the, real, the trouble is you just didn't have the talent to pull it off, right? I mean, like, love the ideals. Based on, okay, lofty ideals, I agree. Uh, uh, based on fantasy, like a fantasy view of the world. And I know you hate to, I mean, here's the thing. You know, you've got the normal lefty lovers that were like, um, yeah, we all agree, we're all one unit, we are one, yeah, we hate Trump, ah, right? But the normal lefty lovers have now found out that's come along with being a hostage in a, uh, uh, in a, new totalitarian worldview where you're not allowed to speak your mind, right? And, and they've lost their freedom of speech. You know when we screamed at you, you like, you can't let uh, you can't let Alex Jones be deplatformed, be, be de otherwise you lose your freedom of speech. Now, the thing is, they've lost their freedom of speech. They can, if somebody, if some, look, honestly, if somebody asked David Tennant, the, does he like Jodie Whittaker? He does not have the latitude to go, go, she's awful. She's absolutely awful in the role. It'll be unprofessional. And, and, and like he's gotta he's gotta appear like he likes it, right? 
They've all got to appear that way. I don't know. Look, but he says he watches it. I, I don't know if he does. Maybe he's lying. It, 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 the reason I think maybe he's lying is because I know he likes Doctor Who. And it makes no sense that he'll watch this and he go, oh, this is good. There is no... Um, there's no way of uh, uh, watching on a Jody episode and going, that was good. Objectively, it, they're awful. They're, they are unprofessional. The best two were the first two. They're, and I think that's the, I think Chimel ran out of street steam after that, right? I think that was his lot. I think that, that was his, and they weren't even that good, but they were his best two, and that, and that was it. Right, I don't think he had any more left in him after that. Right after that, we're in a reckless in the UK. We're in certifiably terrible territory, and it doesn't get any better. Right, the first two weren't bad, maybe, uh, uh, but they were weighed down by Jodie Whittaker being awful. Right. Um, anyway, let's carry on. Yeah, I was going to say the the world seems like it needs a doctor, maybe now more than ever before. Um, is it a thing that you were thinking about as you put, put pen to paper or... Oh, help us against Donald Trump. Oh, my God, it's 2018, and we have money and world peace. Wah! Wah! Fascism everywhere, money and world peace, and freedom. Wah! We have freedom. We... Oh, no, we don't have a... Do we have an East German Stasi called the FBI? Which is what they... I mean, like, it's... They are the secret police, right? They are a political police force, right? They are there to... They, why do you think they want 82,000 IRS a, uh, agents? It's because they're going to make you into slaves forever, right? You're fucked. If, <laughs> listen, if the Trumpy uh, uh, Republicans don't get in in, uh, in both the House and the Senate, like with the commanding majorities, which is what's going to happen, right? Uh, um. You're fucked, mate. You are fucked if you're in America. Get out now. Because, it, it, it again, this going back to my thing at the beginning, this is a war between the two sides of the nation of Aesop, right? Uh, you have the uh, 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 the good side that likes a good time. That's like, you know, they, they like physical comfort. You know, a uh, 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 country and Western Americana, right? And you have the evil of Aesop, which wants to destroy God, which is... Uh, uh, um, uh, like Soviet, uh, like fascism, uh, socialism, uh, uh, which I understand are very different systems, but they have the same god-hating root in my in, yeah. In my so uh, that that's the civil war we're going on. I I I, I think the good of Asia is going to come out on top, right? That's my uh, and I think very very soon. I think I think this, this it's all nearly over, right? But like this guy's an idiot. Do you have any idea? Again, you had world peace and the best economy ever, and you're pissing yourselves over things you know now is a lie, right? Russian collusion, you know is a lie. Everything was a lie. They made a fool out of you, and that's a problem. That's why you hate Trump now more than ever, because they have made a fool out of you because you were wrong about everything. We yes. had pens back in the day, you see, before. <laughs> yeah. um, but, uh, how did, yeah, how did you sort of think about our world as you were sitting down to sort of write this. Yeah. Oh, did it cross your mind there, Chris, mate? Buddy, put chance. Because you're in a time of the, that's relatively divided, that's relatively partisan, and. Oh uh, uh, yeah, you wait see f five years later, ignorant cunts, when you get your way. And the doctor is a figure of, of a beacon of hope, and that's what we. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. You turned around and said you hate half of us. We've talked about Jody's doctor as, and that's what, that was the doctor you brought into the audition, really. I think it was just, it, it, it's playing the doctor, it's, it's not a blank slate. You have this incredible rich history. You also have these extraordinary shoes that you are about to put in that 12 or 13 or however everyone counts them. <laughs> have what you bet you, darling, you're about to take a shit in them, right? That's what's going to happen. You're about to take a dump in those shoes have worn before but the the wonderful thing about it is that it, it, it's only relevant 
to me now because this is me and the, my age and my life experience is, is what I'm bringing to it. And so that is only representative of, of now, as well as, you know, the journey of the doctor and all those wonderful things that you can bring to it. She has no idea what any of those words mean, right? <laughs> like, really? That's like pre-programmed. Like, what? Oh, I could only be me at my age now because I can't act very well. Because I can't really imagine what it's like to be a doctor. Uh, have you talked about watching a doctor? No, I don't really like it. Uh, I started to watch it and I thought, oh, uh, I want to watch Loose Women instead. Okay. I, I want to watch the movie of you. All right. Oh, I want to see her audition. I want to see her audition. I think the doctor is one of the only roles where you get to bring as much of yourself as you do. Yeah, yeah, you really do. Which ah, uh, so I thought I'll bring the fact that I'm a I'm an idiot. Right? I'm an idiot, Karen. Ah, uh, we haven't invented the word Karen yet. Uh, if you thought, but when we do, when we do, uh, uh, you will think of me. I. Uh, which if someone had said that to me before I played the part, I was like, really. It's an alien. <laughs> you know, like, how, you're bringing yourself, but it... I, why would that not have occurred to you, you dumb cut? I'm like, what? Why would that not have occurred to you? That's your job. <clears throat> that what? Oh, I should bring some realism to this... What? But it's an alien. It's like a teletubby. What's it got to do with me? Oh, I got me Sonic. Oh, I'll point it around like it's a magic wand because that'll work. Oh, because Porcus, Abracadabra. Oh, I keep up on the doctor. Ah! Really does, you you fall and you really fall kind of head over heels into the role and, and what- Well, you did, darling. Is in addictive is just the, the the positivity and the hope and the striving and you just kind of want to bring it out into your own life you could beat a badalic in real life right i mean you don't have to do it this season but i, I just couldn't do it in fucking doctor who she needed a team of 20 people and a microwave i want to confirm that you could beat the crap out of the dollar yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes i could <laughs> no you could <laughs> should weld it today. Uh, yeah, weld it. <laughs> yeah. Um, talk about the the production because I mean, again, every time a new showrunner takes over, I feel like the visual style changes. You know, it, mm. it's a yeah. We thought we'd go for expensive shit this time. Yeah, we we threw everything out. Everything we learned how to do. Everything else we just threw it all out. We got something all new people because uh, uh, you know we're arrogant shits. It's a very different looking show again. Yeah, I mean, we we uh... yeah. It, it, it looks like people hate it now. Our, our responsibility was to make, again, you, you're thinking about where does the show land in 2018? Television's never been more cinematic, more visual, more exciting. It has to sit alongside Black Mirror and the CW shows and Gotham and, you know, all those awesome shows we're all watching. So there were things... Gotham had ended for three years by that point, I think. Yes, we did, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think the first thing was that we wanted to... We wanted that sense of expanse, so I think we've we've taken it outside a lot more. There's, you know, we, we didn't want to feel the studio. I know who you are, so Cockney. That's his new one. So, like, right, mate, right, we, we, we want to get outside the studio, you know, get 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 down Albert Square, you know, uh, uh, so I wrap up with the apple pears, uh, uh, and, that, and we thought we'd put some Nick in uh, uh, with Nick, Nick Jim, yeah, although we can be cancelled. Uh, uh, I'm executive producer, you know, right? That's me, Matt Stravens much as uh, some recent seasons have and uh, we've gone further afield uh, we've left Cardiff um, we've gone around the globe we went to South Africa um, uh, we went to Spain we've gone to some amazing places and you made shit oh I like okay you had all these resources and you made relentless relentless shit and I think just yeah as Chris said the visuals we wanted to play with the lenses and make them uh, make the show look as cinematic as possible so we've gone anamorphic uh, we've changed the aspect ratio of the show, so a lot of shows over here have been doing 2-1 for a while, um, but we wanted to look as cool as the stuff on Netflix and HBO, so we've done that. Um, an amazing design team led by Arwell Jones. I mean, in, in all fairness, I mean, not this season, but uh, by the time they get to uh, Flux, their design stuff was good. I thought their design of the Sontarans was good, like their Cybermen. Uh, um, Christian looks like a discount Tom, uh, Tom Hanks. Apparently, Tom Hanks 
uh, has been uh, uh, accused of uh, paedophilia. Uh, uh, I wonder if that's true. It was just incredible. And so, yeah, um, a new score. So everything. Yeah, and it was shit. I, I, yeah, I, don't say we did everything new and then have it be shit and be surprised that you look like a schmuck. Uh, to make it feel as contemporary and as fresh and as newly minted as if it were a brand new show. Do you it is. You made an unwatchable show that everybody hates. Do you like stare at every detail? Do you like look at every costume and go, hmm, almost. Fix <laughs> a no. bow tie here or there. I don't think so, uh, no. Very, no. I mean, you got to go. No, there is not that. I just saw all from 55. There is not that attention to detail. Whoever made the uh, uh, the teddy bear woman monster thing, there is not that attention to detail. Oh, to the grown-ups yeah. with the questions, but it's a very... It's a very creative and collaborative working environment. There is no tyrant at the top, and there is nobody... Should be, because there's just shit at the bottom. ...who thinks they can do other people's job, which is the most important thing. The people whose jobs can't do their own job, okay? The, the, scripts, were te the scripts were sub uh, professional. I think, you know, we can all have opinions, but really... We, we, you only learn from everyone else, and that's the way great things are made. Yeah, I feel like my job as a showrunner is to to find a team of geniuses and get out of their way. <laughs> well, well, you, you failed uh, on one of those counts. You got you got, the thing. Yeah, look, it seems rudderless, right? Apart from your idiot ideas that you you inserted in. Like, I understand you think it's about radical change and you thought it was going to go fine. You thought people would like it. You thought there'll be people who don't and they're just the old fogies. But no, you're going to make it for that new generation of cool girls who are going to become scientists. And oh, it's going to get such high ratings and yet failed. Right? I understand the BBC told you this was good, this was hit. What everybody wanted. You, you gave what your bosses wanted, right? You delivered it, but you delivered something that they didn't want. Terrible ratings, embarrassment. So they're going to make you pay for that. You know why they're going to make you pay for that, Chibnall? Because they are cunts, right? They are evil cunts, right? Uh, uh, and you're a schmuck for working for them, right? I, I think I do not think they're going to have you back. Uh, maybe if you went to Eton or whatever they're saying, weird faggy school thing that you went to uh you might be okay but if you didn't and i don't think you did mate i don't think you did uh, uh you're fucked you're the one they're gonna blame for this failure because they're not gonna blame themselves you know they're not gonna blame themselves for you are telling you to do exactly what you did yeah, yeah. Basically the don't job. hold them back yeah. <laughs> yeah. so you and your geniuses uh <laughs> I'm, I'm the genius yes oh, okay <laughs> so you yeah, the darling uh, yeah you're the genius uh, yeah really again if you're the it, it, was it your plan to fail this hard was this your genius plan to have like you know the least successful era of all time the lowest ratings of all time right uh, uh, like you're the genius, really? Oh. Yes, and your friends, who are also very smart. Um, how How is that? How is that collaborative relationship on the set as you've been figuring this out? Well, you just... Well, first of all, everybody's workplace should be safe and, and you know, inclusive, but also really good fun. You know, like, we're working on Doctor Who. Like, this has been all of our... Dreams from every. No, it hasn't. You liar! It wasn't your dream to be Doctor. Well, one day I'm gonna grow up and take a, such a big shit on a cultural icon. Oh, it'll be the bestest ever, and I'll be the bestest. E no, I mean, yeah. Look, have fun, okay? I mean, I guess keep the entertainment up, but like, gee, oh god, darling, you're such a moron. Oh. Department, you know, and and we. If you're not going to enjoy it, like, you're in the wrong job. <laughs> you know, it's... Yeah, you might be in the wrong job, darling, right? You might be enjoying it too much. Uh, 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 oh, boy. It's wonderful, and I think that sense of fun and enjoyment is exuding out onto the, the screen. In a... no, it, no, 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 it didn't. It, that didn't happen. It was just like you shit on the screen. No. No, bad Jody.
in a positive way and and then shines a light on the darkest bits and it wasn't positive it was all shit and the challenging bits but for us guys like me mandip tosin and brad who are the the new friends it's it's friends oh i love it how you have a flat uh, uh, what was it a, a, a flat uh, uh, manage, managerial structure. It's been extraordinary right. and emotional because we're really close. But not only are we like good mates, we're good mates who go on adventures. I mean, who gets to say that? <laughs> um, I wanted to call out this one wonderful thing because it's on your wrist. I know, I've just found out the maker. Can you stand yeah. up, please? So, uh, someone, uh, so, so the story, the story is, I'm actually, uh, I have, I have one in my pocket, oh, wow. uh, because of course I do. Oh, oh maybe it's product placement could be. And I'm wearing my orphan black one. So, uh, ah. so I, I've gift got a bit of all. I was, I didn't know you were going to have one. I was willing to share. No, I but don't now need to. But now we both have them. Uh, what? What do you have? Done you. Yeah, and I think the thing to say about that is that, um, yeah, Sci-Fi Wire is very big on fan-made stuff, and these are friendship bracelets that have gone to a lot of different shows. Friendship bracelets. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. I mean, honestly, you put this on in, in front of Al-Qaeda, they'll tell you anything they want to know. Fuck me. Oh, that, the friendship fucking bracelets. Oh, goes and uh, Doctor Who has uh, made a point of of saying like, oh, like we want to be. Why don't we show it to us, you idiot morons? Your best friend. Well, if you were curious if uh, the fans wanted to be the best friend of the Doctor and you, I think the answer uh, is a resounding yes. It is a resounding. Yeah, no, no, no. That's that before we saw you. Now we've seen you. Uh, 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 we we it, look. It's kind of like Biden. You'll be able to say, oh, look, I'm going to turn to normalcy. It'll be good. It'll be good again. Uh... Yes. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Go watch the Doctor Who episode. Don't Go look at it. the internet. Go watch it now. <laughs> Dude, thanks, uh, Chris William is up next. Please hashtag. Uh, it's a fan thing. Hashtag NYCC. Oh, God. I want to vomit. Oh, my God. That was a bit much. That was indeed a bit much, right? Oh, God, oh, that made me want to vomit in my own mouth. That my name's Cena Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. <laughs>